Hi, welcome to Cycling Inform's weekly update. My name's David Heatley, and we're going to be answering a whole lot of Facebook questions in this episode. But first, don't forget to like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. Also, we do have an email newsletter that we send out every week with our cycling tips and all the updates on our website. So the first one's from Peter and he's asking uh, any advice for somebody who wants to start racing. So the first thing you want to do around staying to race is you want to contact your local cycling club. Now there are two categories of cycling clubs here in Australia. We've got the veterans category of racing clubs and they're specifically for people that are over the age of 35. Then we have the, and that's run by the Veterans Cycling Council of Australia. Now we also have Cycling Australia that runs all the main cycling open races and they're aligned with UCI, so they're a separate cycling body. Now it all sounds a little bit confusing, but uh, just remember that there's two major cycling bodies here in Australia. The Cycling Vets for people over 35 and also the open uh, open category Cycling Australia. Now Cycling Australia run races for all age groups including a Masters category which starts at the age of 30. And they also do uh, juniors as well. So what you want to do is find your local club and find out where they're racing and then go along to a few races. Now you obviously don't need to start racing at that point. Uh, you can just observe. Now all races are graded here in Australia and that's pretty much the same for the rest of the world. Now the grading system is either done by age group or it's done by ability. So it really depends on the race. Now some races, and usually at state and national level, they're done by age group. So you'd have junior categories, open categories, and masters categories. You'd also have separate divisions for men and women. Now the other grading system is by ability, and that's generally run at the local club level. So what you'll find is that when you go along to races, there'll be certain grades, A grade, B grade, C grade, D grade, E grade, and sometimes even F grade. Now in America, I know that they, they instead of having A grade, they have category one, category two, category three, category four, etc. So to race, you obviously need a license for insurance. Now here in Australia, we have the ability to be able to enroll into races under what we call a day license. And that allows you to race just for that specific day. But generally, once you've gotten into racing, you want to get yourself a license with a particular club. And that means that you'll be able to race all year round. So more information, there's two websites that you can visit. Uh, if you're a veteran rider uh, that's over the age of 35, you can certainly visit uh, the Australian Veteran Cycling Council. And their where address is www.os, that's A-U-S, Vets, v -E -T -S, cycling .com. Now the other one is Cycling Australia and their website address is www.cycling.org.au. Now both Ben and Mark have asked very similar questions. Ben's asked cycling specific gym routines to improve cycling fitness and Mark's asked cycling specific exercises be that gym or non-gym and core exercises. Now we've got the Matt Brindle Functional Strength Training DVD that we created in 2007 to address functional strength and strength on the bike. Now it's been one of our best sellers and what I would recommend you do is check that out. It's available on our website. Now I've specifically developed it for cyclists to develop strength, whether it be for time trialing, hill climbing or just general riding. And it's been very successful and we've used it not only for recreational riders but also for our successful campaigns at state and national and also world competition events. So when you've got the opportunity, do check it out on a website, the Matt Brindle Functional Strength Training DVD. Now Adams asks a very important question. He says, does mentality play an important role in winning or losing races? Well Adam, yes, certainly when you go into a race it's really important to have a good mental attitude. Now as a coach I'm dealing with this all the time with the athletes that I'm working with. And one of the really important things that we work on is both mental and logistical preparation. And one of the first things that I do is I work through their goal setting with them. So what we're looking for here to address is what their specific goal or goals are in mind, the races or rides that they want to do really well at. Then I look at where they currently are physically at the moment. And then we work through a plan 
on improving their fitness to get them to a level so that they're ready to compete in those sort of events. Now sometimes we may have to reset our clients' expectations around the timing associated with getting them to the event. Now I can always work on getting them to the event in their best possible form, but it may not necessarily be good enough for that particular event. So sometimes I also need to address their time frame around achieving their goals. So for obviously very, very big goals, you, we may have a three or four year time lead into that particular goal, whereas some other goals may take only 12 weeks to achieve. Now there's nothing worse than rocking up to an event and feeling like you haven't done enough training. So by working through the planning and goal setting associated with a particular event, we can then ensure that your athlete arrives at the event in the best possible condition. And that's a really big plus for them mentally. So the other thing that we work on is making sure that they're prepared logistically. And that's the other big issue that happens when you get to races. There is also nothing worse than getting to an event and finding out that you haven't got your shoes or that you've got an issue with your bike or that you haven't got the accommodation sorted out. So by logistically sorting out all those issues prior to the event, that also helps get that positive mentality happening and it means that you're in the best possible position to do really well in those races. So thanks very much for watching my cycling tips for this week. My name's David Heatley from Cycling Informed.